Hello, this is Jamie Starnes, Clerk to the Board for the Alexander County Board of Commissioners, here to give you an update on what took place at the December 9th Commissioners meeting. Glenn May spoke during public comment promoting the Read to Me program, sponsored by the Alexander County Library, Friends of the Library, and Partnership for Children, which provides books to be read to three-year-olds by volunteers at participating daycares. Larry Yoder was elected chairman, and Ryan Mayberry was elected as vice chairman for 2014. Amber McGinnis with Martin Starnes & Associates gave the audit report for the year ending June 30, 2013. The board approved the purchase of a new ambulance from Northwestern Emergency Vehicles through bid waiver and piggyback option from Davidson County. Updates to the county travel policy were approved to comply with IRS rules. Changes include meal reimbursements, only for trips with an overnight stay, and higher reimbursement limits. Rick French, county manager, reported that $886,371 had been collected in sales tax revenue for the first three months of the 2013-2014 budget year. This is $15,342 less than this time last year, or 1.7%. The hold harmless total is currently at 57,793. Mr. French recommended moving forward with preparing for several projects, including the courthouse renovation, phase two of Rocky Face Park, and a water project that will install water lines along portions of Zeb Watts, Liberty Grove Church, Ned Herman, Polly Bowman, Espy Little, Miller Point, and Deal Farm Roads, as well as Dula Loop and Kirkpatrick Lane. There is $1.5 million set aside from the jail project loan for the courthouse renovation. The county receive a part of grant for the Rocky Face Park project, which requires a match, and the drinking water state revolving fund loan will be paid back with water user fees. For more information regarding this meeting, call the Alexander County Administration Office at 828 632-9332 or check out the minutes on our website at www.alexandercountync.gov.